decimal expansions of irrational numbers. Earlier, when we were evaluating rational numbers and irrational numbers from decimal expansion standpoint, we came across two questions. So the two questions were, the question one was, are there decimal expansions possible that do not terminate and do not repeat? And the second question was, that if a decimal expansion terminates or does not terminate but repeats, then can we say it is definitely a rational number? Question number two we have already answered. So in this video, we are going to focus on question number one. So what do you think is the answer to this question? An answer is 100% absolutely yes. And can you guess what do we call such numbers? Whose decimal expansion not it does not terminate and does not repeat? Yes, you guessed it right. We call these numbers irrational numbers. Now, one very interesting observation is we can now redefine rational numbers and ir irrational numbers using their decimal expansion property. In other words, we can say that if decimal expansion of any number is such that the decimal expansion terminates or does not terminate but repeats, then we say that number is a rational number. And similarly, we can say that if we have a decimal expansion of a number, the decimal expansion is such that it does not terminate, also it does not repeat, then we call that number an irrational number. Now let's take a look at some examples of how do we write these irrational numbers. <laughs> and now this is the fun part. So what we have to do is we have to write a number that will go on forever and that has absolutely no patterns, right? So why don't we try that? So let's see, how about 2.0178, I'm randomly writing whatever comes to my mind, 5.99.61. 8, 2, 3, maybe 7, 5, 9, 9, maybe 3. So you see what? I'm just writing whatever comes to my mind. I'm making sure that this number has absolutely no pattern and can just go on and on and on, right? Let's write one more. How about this time? Let's write a negative number. Maybe minus 978 point. How about 2, 3, zero one seven six seven eight nine nine five six zero three one and go on and on and on right so i am writing completely absolutely random numbers here and both of this right both of these are examples of irrational number now one way to think about how to write these numbers can be if we can introduce a pattern inside these numbers that makes it very obvious that these numbers will go on forever and also they will not repeat. So what do I mean by that? Let me give you an example. So let's say we write something like, let's try to modify the first one. Let's say we want to write two point, we have zero, one, seven, right? So let's say, let's take the first three digits after decimal 017. So let's write 017 and that's, then let's write 0017, 00017, 000017 and so on and so forth. So what do you think about this number? So look what is going on in here. So here, this number will go on forever. Why? Can you guess the next batch of uh, numbers or digits here? Of course, the pattern we have introduced is we have 017, then there are two zeros. So we start with one zero here before 17. And this is completely random. The, the, the 17 has absolutely no meaning. It could have been maybe 31, maybe 82, or anything that we want, right? And it also does not have to be a two digit. It could have been just 01, 001, right? So here we have 17, before 17 we put one zero, then we have put two zeros, then we have put three zeros, then we have put four zeros. So the next one will be five zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five. 
17, right? And so on and so forth. So here, by simply introducing a pattern, we have made it very clear that this number definitely will go on forever and it is not a repeating number, right? The decimal expansion is not repeating. So these three are examples of irrational numbers. Now, we want to make sure that we do not confuse this with something like 2.017 and the whole thing is repeating. Because if this were the case, this number will look like 2.017017017 so on and so forth. Or if we had say for example 2.017 and the 17 is repeating, that will be 2.017 one seven so on and so forth so these two will be examples of rational numbers where we have non terminating but definitely repeating so these are not irrational numbers but the first three are definitely irrational numbers because they are non terminating and they are non repeating so let's maybe take a look at some more examples in here so let's say we want to write a rational number or irrational number, I, sh I should say, between 0 and 1, right? So how can we write an irrational number between 0 and 1? Well, first things first. So if we were to imagine a number line, right? So 0 will be somewhere here and 1 will be somewhere here. So we are not writing any negative numbers, right? So no negative numbers and no numbers which will be like one point something. We cannot write that because one point anything will be greater than one and they will be here. So we cannot write those numbers and we cannot write any negative numbers. So these are out. So the numbers that we have to write will be, they have to start with zero point something. And really here we can write whatever we choose. So zero point, we can create whatever we want. So how about something quite simple? Maybe we can write 2, 9, right? 2, 2, 9, 2, 2, 2, 9. That's it. How about something like this? So this definitely is an irrational number. Why is this an irrational number? Because we have 2, 9, right? And there is 1, 2 here. Now there are 2, 2s. There are 3, 2s. So this number will go on forever and it is not a repeating number right? The decimal expansion is not repeating. Similarly, let's write one more number. So zero point, maybe, maybe one, three, one, one, three, one, 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 three, one, 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 three, and so on and so forth. So this is another example. So these are two examples of an irrational number between the numbers zero and one. So as you can see, you can literally create any number of irrational numbers, right? So it is completely up to your imagination. And whatever the patterns that you choose, this is completely up to you. Whatever the digits you choose, they are also up to you. So this is how we write the decimal expansions of irrational numbers.